اوز بلی ہم شیدان روجی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرخ لی صدری و یسی لی امری و اخلال و تدم لسان یفق و قالی اللہم انی اصل کا علم النافع و عمل متقبل امر اس کن تیبہ اسلام علیکم ایوریوان ہوفلی یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل اوکی ناو دس اس دا پارٹ ٹو مایکروسوف ویجل بیسکس ٹوزن ٹین ہو ٹو کریئیٹ کلکولیٹر یوزن مایکروسوف ویجل بیسک پروجیکٹ اوکی یوزن ونڈوز فارم اپلیکیشن لیس ٹیک ا سٹارٹ اوکی جی آفٹر دیٹ وی ویل گار دس انٹر فیس دس اس اور پروجیکٹ دس اس فارم ون اوکی ناو فرسٹ آف آل آم گوئنگ ٹو رین ایم دس کلک آن دا فارم ہیر ری سائز ایٹ ایف یو وان ٹو کلک ہیر drag down okay now click here and then in the property section I'm going to check change its text right now it's written here form 1 I want to change this okay then I will write calculator it's my calculator done when I will click here it will reflect here done okay the next thing is what I need for calculating uh, to perform the basic operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So I need a few buttons here uh, and two text boxes from where I will get two values. So from this tool panel, here's toolbox, I'm going to drag and drop two text boxes here. Click here, hold, drag over here, one, text box one, then here I'm going to insert text box two. Okay. Now I want to give a name over here, label 1, label 2, let's give a name here, click on the label and then in the property section on the right side, when you click on the label it will appear, it's right now it's written here label 1, I want to change this to number, I just number 1. Then here I will change this label to name to number two. Done. Okay. Now after that uh, I want to add few buttons here. Uh, button one. Button one. Okay. Now I want to change its name here. Uh, click on button one and in the text property here in the in the property group I'm going to change its attributes. Uh, now I'm going to change the value of text. I will write over here Add When I will click on this Add button it will Add my result whatever I will enter in the text box. So uh, I need one more label uh, Using that label I will display my result. So I need uh, one more label. Where is that label? Here's label click hold and drag over here. I want to display my result over here so let's give a name over here just a name text result display okay result display over here okay now I want to write a code double click on the button here you will enter in this code section okay now here I will write my code okay how to access the data from the <coughs> form using I will enter the values over here so uh, using names and name attribute I will access this uh, text text box values so where is the name attribute when you click on the text box scroll up here can you see here it's written here uh, text box 1 so when I will click here and the scroll up text box 2 okay I will need to pick these values so go back to the code and then I will write here first of all I need to declare two variables in which I will store the these values that we are getting from the text boxes so dim is used to declare, uh, declare a private variable dim now let me give a declare variable name operand because for addition subtraction and uh, operand1 sorry I'm giving operand1 as integer because I want to uh, apply addition subtraction on integers numbers so I'm writing here we need two operands 
and one one operator okay. then I want another variable in which I will uh, store my result as integer done these are private variables you can access only within this scope only in button one outside the button one you cannot use these variables okay now let's um, store values in operand one it's a storage place so uh, text box one whatever user will enter in text box one dot text I will store that value in operand one done it's very easy now in operand two that I have declared over here now I'm going to use this one now here I'm going to use the name of that text box to dot text got it now both values are stored in operand 1 and operand 2 from both text boxes now press enter now I want to uh, add these numbers so I will use the third variable that I have declared now I put over here is equal to sign now I write um, operand 1 operand 1 then I will add operator here plus operator then operand 2 done okay now let's run this what will happen by clicking on the play button you can run this now I'm going to enter my first number so okay 3 plus 4 click on add it's not displaying anything over here because I'm not using this label so I'm going go back now let's use that label so what is the name of that label go back here in the form and click here let's check what's the name of this label it's written here label 3 I want to write here LBL result okay updated click here now click here let's see name is LBL result now I want to access this to display the result go back to the code now I will write a LBL it will appear over here dot text is equal to now here I want to assign this result value over here I'm going to write result done now let's run this code by clicking on this start debugging or press you can even press F5 let's start now let's 3 plus 4 Okay, now let me add more values 15 plus 7 it's 22 on there let's click here 22 we have done this addition we have done now we are moving towards subtraction now I want to add one more button using that button I will perform the subtraction here so just quickly change the name of this text box just type here subtraction okay then I will add one more button over here then I will write here okay multiplication it's very easy okay now let me stretch this okay now I will add one more Debian when I will click on Debian button it will divide so now so now the trick is now double click here enter in that code now I'm going to use this code this code copy this and paste in button 2 okay now only change the sign put minus sign over here and just run the code now I'm going to enter here 15 plus 4 it will give me 19 when I will click on subtraction and it has to give me what 11 done good okay now again same code select this one copy this till here control C 
okay now um, I want to paste it over here in multiplication area just control V okay uh, now change this operator put it as static over here shift static it's a multiplication sign now let's do multiplication uh, let's try all these functionality it gives me 7 when I will click uh, 17 when I click on add uh, 13 when I click on subtraction okay when I will click here multiplication on this button it will give me 15 twos are 30 so far so good okay now next I will copy this And then I will go in the farm and now I'm going to click here in division area now I will paste it over here now I'm going to instead of this static I'm going to this use this slash slash is used for division okay let's run this code now I want to divide number one divided by two okay then I will write here let's say 20 divided by okay 10 when I will click here it will give me 30 addition here 10 okay by clicking multiplication it gives me 10 0 10 2 or 20 200 yes when I will click here it will give me 2 because number 1 is divided by number 2 done okay hopefully um, I, I have tried my level best to clear your concepts please practice these and you can do whatever you want using whatever you have learned in this tutorial thank you very much if you like my video please like and subscribe my channel and please comment for the suggestion Allah face take care